Starting in New York Magazine was a great thrill. Um, Gloria Steinem was starting at the same time, so Clay actually brought us together and encouraged us to compose our differences around the early feminist movement, mm. and we became good sisters. Um, but the men were a little bit, you know, uh, put out that these that these women were pushing into journalism. Um, but you know, as long as you kind of kitted along with them and showed you could take it and you know, showed you could climb on those planes and those buses and do your thing. Then gradually, they, grudgingly, some of them accepted me. And then some of the best writers of that period, Norman Mailer even gave me some advice, was very kind to me. Joe Heller, who wrote Catch-22, was very, very helpful. Uh, and so, you know, we became colleagues after a while. Well, people often ask, you know, did your allure have anything to do with your success? I think it always does with a with a woman. Um, I I can't uh, fake that as a feminist. Uh, I know that Margaret Thatcher, who I later interviewed and wrote about, was actually sexy, which you would never believe. But I heard it from her own star boys, the cabinet officers that she surrounded herself with, who said, "Yes, we find we find Mrs. Mrs. T sexually attractive in a rather packaged way." And I thought that was hilarious. And then I actually asked her about it, and she said, well, you know, the female of the species is deadlier than the male because we have special powers. She wasn't ashamed of it.